So our lesson today is to determine if a function is odd or even. How do we determine if a function is odd or even? Basically, we have two these two conditions here. An even function, f of negative x will equal f of x. And I'll show you how that works in the first example here. And an odd function, f of negative x equals negative f of x. So that's how you determine if a function is odd or even. So when we have a function, all we need to do is find f of negative x first, which is basically function notation. So what you do, you write negative two, and every time you find an x, you change it to negative x, and you still have the cube on top, and then four, and instead of x, we just write negative x again. <laughs> and now as you see, negative x cubed is negative x, negative x cubed. So this will end up giving me negative two times negative x cubed and positive and negative here would end up giving me minus four x and therefore here the answer are going to be positive two x cubed minus four x. Now let's find out f negative f of x. Negative f of x, basically, what you need to do is just throw in a negative in front of the whole function in here. So you go negative, you throw in brackets, and you write the function. Now, that gives you negative and negative here is positive. And negative times positive is minus 4x cubed, 4x, sorry. Now you go back now and look. This is f of negative x is this, and negative f of x is that. Now let's compare all the three functions, the f of x, the f of negative x, and the negative f of x. And if we do compare them, we realize that f of negative x and negative f of x ended up giving me the same equation. And therefore, in this situation, f of negative x is exactly negative f of x. And, there, and therefore, this function follows this rule right here. When f of negative x equals negative f of x, the function is odd. And let's explore another example. Example two, f of x equals x squared plus two over x minus seven. So let's find f of negative x first. Again, we said, it go to every x in the function and make it negative. So that gonna be a negative x. And you still have the square outside plus two. And this x here just becomes negative x. And you still have the minus seven. <clears throat> now this will end up giving me negative when you square a negative, you get positive. So that's gonna be x squared plus two all over negative x minus seven. Now let's find out negative f of x, which is the same as negative in front of the whole function. So negative in front of all of that. Now when we have a negative like this in front of a rational expression, we only distribute the negative into the top or the numerator of the function. So that's gonna give me negative x squared 
minus two all over x minus seven. Now, if we look at all of the functions, we notice that negative f of x and f of negative x and f of x, none of them looks the same or ended up giving us the same result. So none of these condi conditions here, condition one and two are met. So therefore, this is neither. It's not even, it's not odd. So if these two conditions are not met, then the function is neither even or odd. Yeah, so let's do one more example. So here's the function. Now let's do f of negative x equal negative negative x to the power of four minus six negative x to the power of two plus five. And that gives me negative. When the exponent is even on top, the negative becomes positive. So it just becomes negative x to the four. And here, when you square a negative also, it's gonna be positive. So minus six and that's positive. So it's gonna be negative six x squared plus five. Now let's find out what negative f of x is. And that's basically just throwing a negative in front of the whole function. And therefore, going to be x to the 4 plus 6x squared plus 5. And now we go and compare. And what we notice here is that f of x and f of negative x ended up being the same function. So therefore, f of x equals f of negative x which is condition one. And that means this function is an even function. As always, thank you for watching. The next time, bye-bye. And remember, Libya in your prayers. Thanks again.